Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. In the last episode, we went through the Cinnabar Island and of course went through the Pokemon Mansion and were able to get the key for the Gym Leader. So that's what we'll be focusing on today is going through the Gym Leader, which I think is the fire type Gym Leader. So we're gonna be using a lot of our good buddy Tonka today. So that'll be awesome for him. Got it right here. So let's go ahead and uh, move Pokemon and move him to the first slot. That'll be awesome. So yeah, I'm very excited for that and we should have the key. So yeah, it just opens up nice and perfect. We're all ready to go for it. I've done everything else on the island. Hello. Yo, champ in the making. The, this gym is, here we go. First question. Oh, hi. Wait, Mr. Blaine, it's not your turn yet. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> That'd be great if we could skip just at the leader. Or uh, the old man you just saw there was Gym Leader Blaine. He's a fire type Pokemon pro. You did well finding the secret key to get in here, so I think you're ready to take on this gym. As you might have guessed, you'll have to take on a quiz at this gym as well as battles. Try to have a good time. All right, well, we'll do our best. Go on, get in there, enjoy, enjoy some sizzling battles and heated quizzes. Okay, what does this say? Oh, is this like a TV show as well? Cinnabar Island Pokemon Gym, Gym Leader Blaine, certified trainer is Lion. Hello. Blaine's always thinking up ways to keep the families of scientists who live here from getting bored. Yeah, I guess there's just a lot of scientists just live on this area, so. So how many battles will there be? I don't know. Blaine's not very good as an MC, but he's red hot when it comes to battles, okay. Haha, <laughs> Blaine's so funny, this kid disagrees. Uh, what about this one? Hello. I'm not a trainer, but I still enjoy watching Blaine. Good luck out there, trainer. Well, thank you. <laughs> Everybody's so nice around here. There's not too much to get excited about here on on Cinnabar Island. If you say so, I think it's a great place. I look forward to more heated battles and sizzling quizzes today. Uh, you think there are any other fire type gym leaders out there? I don't think so, at least not in this game. Anyways, I think that's everybody. What you say? Ready to start? Yeah, sure, why not? No need to be shy then, step right up. So how does this work? Here we go, this is the Cinnabar Island Gym Pokemon Quiz. Challengers get asked five questions that they have to answer. Get one right and you get a Blaine doll. Get a question wrong and you have to battle one of my students here. I sort of want to be able to battle, but I guess if I get Blaine dolls, that'd be cool as well. But if you manage to beat them, then you done. don't worry, you still get a Blaine doll. Think you could collect five Blaine dolls? I think that I might just purposely lose so we can get more battles out of it. Here we go, the first question. Quiz time. Which of these is uh, uh, the Spitfire Pokemon? Magmar or Growth? It's actually Magmar, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna do Growth. <laughs> the challenger's given his response and the final judgment is, sorry, bad call. <laughs> Cause I, that, that's, I wanna go against trainers. Too bad, you are close, but ultimately wrong. The challenger must now face a penalty match against one of the trainers I instruct. Do you know how hot Pokemon Fire Breath can get? <laughs> That's how I imagine he sounds, very uh, monotonous, I guess. Okay, so we're challenged by Super Nerd Eric. And he, of course, is gonna have Charmeleon. We've had a Charmeleon in the past. Fred was Charmeleon, it was adorable. But Tonka's gonna tear him up. So we may not have to use Surf against him. He's level 45, though, so it is tempting. We do only have 15 uses of it, though, so if we could do, like, Water Gun. Monarchon only has 40 power, Bubble Beam has 65, and then Surf, you know, let's just do Surf. If we need to, we'll use an Elixir. I wouldn't want to, but hey, it, maybe it'll be fine. Yeah, I actually do like doing the trainer battles, and it's more experience, you know? So it's like, to me, that's a little bit more interesting. And we still get the Blaine Dolls out of it anyways. That's fine. All right, so there's that. I don't know why there's like a game of tic-tac-toe going on on the floor. Combustion occurs when the auction in the air. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. We got our first trainer done. And along with that, a hard won victory. You have won a Blaine doll. <laughs> there he is. All right, let's move on to the second question. Quiz time. How many gym badges certified the Pokemon League are there? There are eight, so I'm gonna say seven. The challenger has given his response and the final judgment is, sorry, bad call. So if you're witty, you don't have to do any, you know, gym or trainer battles to get to the leader. But if you want to, you can do that as well. Like if you're bad at quizzes, but good at battling, you'll still be able to succeed. Too bad, you are close, but ultimately wrong. The challenger must now face a, the, a penalty match against one of the trainers I instruct. Oh, it's a burglar. I used to be a thief, but I went straight. You just still kept all of the, uh, all of the uh, get up of a thief. Burglar, he, he's ex-burglar Quinn. Thank you very much. No need to label him like that. He sent out Ninetales, so it's all gonna be fire types, of course. That is such a cool looking Pokemon. Do we have a Vulpix yet? 
I hope we have a Vulpix so we can evolve it into a Ninetales. All right, let's fight! And we will do Surf. I mean, what are the chances we'll be taking on 15 different Pokemon? Because if we do Surf, we're gonna take them out every time. All right, so there's that done. I knew you could do it. And Ninetales is done. So we still have three more trainer battles to go before the actual gym leader, Blaine. I surrender! All right, so we get a couple thousand. We get more money out of it too, which is a big thing as well. A hard won victory, you won a Blaine doll. I love these little dolls. We're not done yet, the second question. Hold on, Mr. Blaine, this is the third question. The third question! <laughs> Quiz time! A steel type move used uh, used on a fire type Pokemon will be not very effective. The challenger is given is just wait, no, I chose it right! No, no! I wasn't supposed to! You are absolutely correct! Congrats! I just sort of went into autopilot! No! You bought a Blaine doll! Ah, well there goes one. There goes the trainer battle. The, uh, challenge, the challenger has assembled three Blaine dolls. On the onto the fourth question, quiz time! Jewel Falls DM28 contains the move Tom's Tom Stony. What's that? The challenger is given his response, and the official judgment is, you are absolutely, oh, come on. That's not the real answer, though. You want a Blaine doll. Tom Stone, like, Tombstone is the actual move. It seems our challenger has collected four Blaine dolls. It's time for the last question. Give us your all. Final question, the challenger Zebra. Tell me, who are you to battle, Blaine? The Cinnabar Island gym leader, gym leader a fire-type Pokemon pro, a hot-headed quiz master, a mustached old man, an old guy in sunglasses. The challenger has given his response, and the final judgment is, you're absolutely correct. Okay, you can't not get that one right. So I missed out on two gym leader battles. Ah, oh well, not gym leader, but gym trainer battle. You know what I mean. And off they go. Oh, <laughs> I don't get to keep those? I'm sure they sell for a lot online. Oh well. And here he is. Challenger, you have obtained five Blaine dolls, which means it's time for our battle. I'm Blaine, the red hot gym leader here. My fiery Pokemon are all rough and ready with intense heat. They incinerate all challengers. Ha, hope you brought some burn heals. Indeed we did, but we won't need them because we have Tonka, the surfing master. You're challenged by gym leader Blaine with the fire in his eyes or in his spectacles at the least. He sends out Magmar and he has four Pokemon in total to tackle. I think we will be a-okay. Okay, so Tonka, you are sort of, you know, soloing this entire thing, I think you'll be fine. We'll be seeing a lot of surf. And off it goes. We got it. So there's Magmar down. So what's Pokemon number two gonna be? As we tackle them all like this. But this is our seventh gym leader we've taken down, so how exciting is that? This is our second to last gym leader. Kobe Green level 53, awesome. And gym leader, leader Blaine is gonna send an Arcanine, which we'll keep battling because that's the fire type Ev evolution of Growlithe. As you can see, he is so fluffy! Oh, he's adorable! I love him! Surf him up! <laughs> he's just so cute! All right, well, sorry, but you gotta go down no matter how cute you are. Yeah. All right. So what do we got after that? We're about to find out. Halfway through it. I love the, like, everything about this gym leader, though. It's so cool. The quiz and everything. Rapidash, of course, evolution of uh, Ponita which we've seen quite a few times in the past. Got it, we have a Rapidash in our Pokemon box, so pretty cool. So we should definitely have enough Surf moves for everybody who comes along, every type of Pokemon if we need it. And what if this last one's like a water type, just to mix things up there a little bit. Okay, so one more Pokemon up the tackle, as far as I understand. 822 experience and Ninetales. Okay, so we're gonna keep battling. Ninetales is not that big of a problem. And then just do surf one more time. We're uh, eight levels above this Pokemon, so it should be a one hit. Oh gosh, it isn't. Wow, okay, super effective. Now you can do it. Fire Blast, which really isn't gonna do much. Even if it does burn us. Very cool move, not very effective. And then fine, I'll go ahead and take you down with a bubble beam. A bubble the bubble bubble the bubble beam. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. And boom! See you, Ninetales. And with that, Gym Leader Blaine should be taken down. Ninetales fainted. Awesome stuff. Good job, Tonka. You knocked it out of the park with this. 832 experience. The Pokemon in Wedding also got experience points, and you beat Gym Leader Blaine. I have burned down to nothing. Not even ashes remain. Poor guy. $7,000 for winning, though. I like how his tie was also all burnt up. You have earned a Volcano Badge. Oh, cool. We still haven't seen the Volcano, by the way. I don't know where it is. 
You got a volcano badge from Blaine. Here, you can have this TM too. You got TM46 Fire Blast from Blaine. Put it in the TM case. TM46 contains Fire Blast, a red hot fire type move. Teach it to a fire type Pokemon. Volpix or Charmeleon would be ideal. Fire Blast is an attack to be shown the utmost respect. Don't waste it on water type Pokemon, wow. Okay. Can I not talk to you anymore? I can talk to Lily here, Lily's happy about it. Lily is looking at your new badge and appears to be very happy. What about Eve? What does Eve have to say? Ah, she is very excited. Eve must be in a great mood, it gives you a high five. All right, well let's go ahead and give you a pet. I don't know, where'd my, where'd it go? I don't know, hold on, partner play, here it is. Ah, good job Eve, you did great, even though you didn't battle whatsoever, you want to tell me Rub? Apparently not. There it is, okay, awesome. <laughs> All right, now that we've done that, can I talk to you guys anymore? You and Blaine did great. I sure would like a Blaine doll. If I had any left, I'd give you one. Here, Pikachu looks so cute while you were taking the quiz. I finally got one of Blaine's questions right. Oh, that's cool. Can't talk to that lady over that way. You're pretty tough. I have a thought of becoming a gym leader. Maybe one day, that'd be cool. What a fantastic battle even I was eating up. Recently, there's been a lot of strong challenges, so things have been pretty lively. All right, cool. Zebra, you did it, you beat the, that firebrand. Nice, what about this? Does it say my name on here? Lion and Zebra, I never knew that, that's cool. Blaine's always thinking up ways to keep the families of the scientists who live here from getting bored, yeah, I know. Okay, so the quiz has been done. That was a lot of fun. We haven't seen Lion in a little while, actually. Here he is. <laughs> Ah, so this is where you were. I thought you might have made your way to the Cinnabar Island by now. Did you beat Blaine? Really, congratulations. You need to have eight gym badges to get into the Pokemon League, right? I've got seven already, which means that only one left is... Yeah, it must be the gym in Viridian City, right? It was closed up the last time I checked, though. Have you been to the Viridian City gym yet, Zebra? You haven't, right? I guess I'll try stopping by the Viridian City one more time. Yeah, me too. I thought I was gonna battle you there, but I suppose not. So he's walking off and I will do the same because to me it seems like we've done everything we can on this portion of the island. I could heal up a little bit, even though I don't need it a ton. Might be worth a while before we head out. But yeah, that is seven gym leaders defeated and I'm very excited to say so. So we'll head back to Viridian City and in an upcoming episode we'll definitely try to uh, get that done. That'll be cool. But yeah, I'm glad we were able to defeat gym leader Blaine. Yeah, our Pokemon are looking stronger than ever. Okay, Pokemon should be all better now. So I've talked to everybody I can really talk to. It's just about going back up north and seeing Viridian City. I really don't know what's gonna go on there. I don't know how long of an episode. This might be a little bit of a shorter one, to be honest with you. Got everything I needed to do done pretty quickly. Route 21, though. We'll definitely explore Route 21 as much as we can. The water is moving. Do you wanna use the secret technique sea skim? You bet. All right, so here's Eve. And do I see anything going on? Whoa, way over this way? Not quite. Oh, I just see another little Sarmie, that's cute. Just trying to make sure I can find everything I can find. For right now, let us hop up. Whoa, was that another Magikarp? I think so. We got ourselves a PP up. Good to have another one of those. Okay, hop back in. Yep, yep, yep. And looks like, yep, a Magikarp. What about you, sir? Right now, I'm, a tri I'm in a triathlon meet. Oh, well then, probably not a good time to be doing battling, unless it's like running, swimming, and battling. Those are the, well, that's the triathlon part. Instead of like running, swimming, biking. All right, you, you sound like slow, bro. I actually need to switch my Pokemon if we're gonna be going back into the water, because I have Tonkao right now, which is not gonna be so helpful. So let's go to Pokemon, and switch to Eve. Awesome stuff. Come on back, Tonky, you did great out there. You didn't do anything. But you know, you standing there and looking intimidating, sometimes that's all you need. Okay. You surf, which honestly, you know, it might hurt a little bit just because it's a powerful move. Yeah, but beyond that, it's fine. Okay, fight and Thunderbolt. Let's see if this is a one-hit takedown, because we have 16 levels above you. That's crazy. Super effective. All right, so Solbro's gonna faint, and I'm gonna definitely switch out our party, because we've defeated, uh, What's his name? Jer was that Jeremy? I think it was? Okay, anyways, we defeated you and got three Pokeballs. So, what else do you have to say? I'm beat, but I still have a bike race and a marathon left. Then why did you do that? The world may never know. Let's go ahead and switch Pokemon with Eve, just like we did before. 
I'm so glad, of Tonka, glad for Tonka though, he did great. Oh, what's over here? Oh, there's another tentacruel. Not incredibly excited about that. Got plenty of Starmies flopping around in the water. What about this way? A Magikarp and... There is a sailor on the island. I wonder if he shipwrecks it. <laughs> okay, first off, let's go against the swimmer. Ah, the feel the sun and the wind. All right, so we're going against swimmer. Roland. Hi, Roland. Enjoying a sunny day out in the water with Starmie. He has two Pokemon this time, unlike the previous swimmer, so that might be a little bit more of a challenge. Okay, so fight and Thunderbolt. It's gonna be real easy because we're still, you know, 16 levels ahead of this specific Pokemon. It's crazy how tougher Pokemon are getting. That's why I really wanna take my time and do as many gym leader battles as I possibly can, which is why I'm super bummed I missed out on a couple. But hey, I mean, it would've just been Tonky using Surf over and over again. So it's gonna be Kingler, I'm gonna keep battling. Kingler should be A-OK. -okay. Probably just use Thunderbolt again, because it's the same level. I swear they got lower level than what they were before Cinnabar Island. I thought they were more like level 45, 46. Maybe I'm wrong. But hey, if we can do it, we can do it. That's all that really matters. And we can. Be aware in the world is a volcano. They were talking about an active volcano somewhere around. I wanna see it. Yeah, oh, I lost. Indeed you did. It really is a tiny island. <laughs> I mean, I understand that it's you know, supposed to be a little bit miniaturized because it's Pokemon. Hi, I'm sunburned to a crisp. Okay, well, I'll watch it, watch it. And I can battle this fisherman or I can battle the sailor that's on this one. Hi. Hey, don't disturb the water. Why not? <laughs> There's plenty of other people swimming. Why don't you go against them? Sailor Claude. So now Primate. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that sailing technically disturbs the water as well. You know what, watch watch who you're talking to. So Primeape is not a water type, so this might be a bit of a challenge, but we could just do Zippy Zap. See how well that ends up working out for us. Whoop! Yeah, awesome. When we had this much of a level advantage, it's pretty easy to use that. So what Pokemon are you going to have next? I definitely wanna pay attention to it, so we can just really use whatever advantage. Machoke, switch Pokemon. I wanna switch over to Lily and use Psychic. Always the best bet against fighting types, so. And she has, I think, just as much of a level advantage. I think she's also level 58. Uh, we're about to find out. Maybe going on a level 59. No, well, I mean, yeah, almost. Pretty soon. So we'll use Psychic. It should be a one-hit takedown. Let's hope. Ooh, yes, it is. All right, well, good job, Lily. Super proud about that one. And she got 596 experience, very good. And we beat Sailor Claude. Sorry, I thought you were disturbing the water. I mean, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> guess it really de determines on what disturbing means. I can't fish like a fisherman. Could this place actually be a giant pool or something? I suppose, I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Lily. How are you doing? Lily well, seems happy that you won the recent battle, yeah! Okay, so let's get back into the water. And we'll take on this fisherman, can I get his attention while I'm just out here? Ah, oh, that'd be pretty cool if I could. Anyways, hello. Keep me company until I get a hit. All right, sure. So what kind of Pokemon does this guy have? Probably a lot of water types. Usually he just has a lot of Magikarps. The fisherman, this is Fisherman Nolan. He said, oh, Tentacruel, all right, he's already proving me wrong. Looking pretty intense there. Might actually use Zippy Zap against Tentacruel. A little bit of a higher level, tougher Pokemon. Well, it's 42, but like, usually the more evolved Pokemon are a bit more of a threat. I don't know. Boom. Still able to instantly take him down, so that's all that really matters. But he has one more Pokemon left to go. What could it be? Guess we're gonna find out. Okay. So now it's Starmie. Okay, I'm gonna keep battling. Starmie I should be able to handle. I mean, I could do Zippy Zap again just for the heck of it. I think I will. It's because it's such a quick move. Very reliable. Boom. Awesome stuff. So with that being done, what else can we do? I mean, I guess we're done battling this guy, so we can get our money and we can leave. That burned some time. I mean, it electrocuted, it zapped some time, that's what it did. Awesome stuff. Oh wait, I got a bite, yeah, nice, good job. I mean, I guess. I mean, I'm not really very, you know, excited about fishing personally. Waterstone, that's much more exciting. Okay, let's go ahead and keep Going through the water. Just trying to look for anything else I may have missed. There's plenty of Magikarp flopping around, a Tentacruel, but nothing I haven't seen except for this swimmer. Hello. 
I call my Pokemon at sea. I'd imagine so if you're out here. So this is another swimmer. His name is Swimmer Jack. And he's down tentacle. So I guess this is the Pokemon he called out at sea and maybe one of the other two. We should be able to handle a tentacle no problem. I'm just gonna go ahead and do Thunderbolt. Yep, Thunderbolt it is. So he's gonna have all water types. It just, you know, it's too easy at this point just to use Eve over and over again. And I mean, since we have shared experience, you know, it doesn't really matter which Pokemon we use. There we go. Not too much experience for that one, but sort of to be expected. Golduck, keep battling. So he doesn't really have too many evolved po Oh, I mean, I always get Psyduck and Golduck confused because like Psyduck is a golden color while Golduck is blue, you know? It just, it's weird. <laughs> But uh, yeah, he, that that is an evolved Pokemon. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay, now that we've done that, one more Pokemon left to take down. Who is it? It is Tentacruel, so the evolution of Tentacruel. I wanna keep using Eve. Didn't want mean to change there. Okay, so let's fight, and I hope Thunderbolt will work. Yeah, everything, every single battle on this route so far has been level 42. I don't know why that's the special number, but hey, it's easy enough for me. We're definitely like ahead of the curve right now, which you know, is nice. I wanna be able to keep doing battles, get them done, get Fred to level 55, so that we can stay ahead of the curve. Lily got level 59 as well. And if you do Swimmer Jack, dive her down! I mean, you're in shallow water, I think you'll be okay. Okay, so there's another thing done, another battle. And where'd you catch your Pokemon? Everywhere, it's been great. Okay, so let's also talk to you, sir. The sea cleanses my body and soul. Well, keep doing it. Sounds like you're having fun. Okay, so with this one, it's Swimmer Spencer. Swimmer Spencer, stand out Seal. Oh, Seal is sort of like a water ice type. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we'll try it and see what ends up happening, if it'll do damage or not. Might wanna do Zippy Zap just for the like quick critical damage. Like, I don't know if it'll be super effective or not. We're about to find out. Boom. Oh, it was a one hit take 10 no matter what, it's super effective. So I think that Seal is a water ice. There are Pokemon that are just ice that wouldn't be weak to electric then, I'm pretty sure. Anyways, there's that done. This is not Seedra, which I'll keep battling. I have not seen a Seedra out in the wild yet or uh, the pre-evolution of it, which is you know just the seahorse, I forget what it's called. But I would really like to, that'd be awesome. Well, there's Seedra taken down. Because of course, I want to be able to catch every Pokemon I possibly can. I know there's some Pokemon that might be harder than others in that regard, but you know, eventually. Ah, $840 for winning and three Pokeballs, awesome. One thing I should do by the, before the end of today's episode, I do need to actually bring a Grimer back to the uh, Cinnabar Island and get a Alolan Grimer. The sea is great and all, but I like the mountains too. You should go become a hiker for a little bit then. Have fun. Oh, look at this guy. He's a biker, a biker and a hiker. What's wrong with me swimming? I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. Why are you so defensive? Why aren't you in swimming gear? I really don't suggest swimming in leather. I think it shrinks when you do that. Roughneck Martin. And he sent out Raticate. Okay, Raticate's fine. It's just a normal type, so we should be able to handle it with whatever we want to throw at it. And I'm gonna do Thunderbolt, so we can just get some quick damage out right away. And let, once again, level 42. Come on, Thunder. Are oh, you gonna do Sucker Punch? Uh, I don't like it. Oh, you avoided it, you little stinker. No, what you can't avoid? This maybe? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see if this works then. It will, perfect. Because we're about to hit level 59 with Eve as well. Okay, so Roughneck Martin's about to send out Onyx. I will actually, oh, let's switch back to Tonka. I want to give him more attention. He's been so wonderful today. I love him. Okay, so Eve, you come on back. Tonka will come out. Show Onyx who is boss, because of course water is better than stone and ground. And this Onyx is about to fill the full full weight of that. So we'll just use Surf, it should be easy enough. Also level 42, oh, he is definitely getting a level up from this as well, he's gonna become level 56. Very cool. Okay, so we might be able to get two levels from this battle as well. So even though we've been super high level, we've been getting tons of experience and tons of level ups still. So level 56 for Tonka, will that be level 59 for Eve? I think so. Eve grew level 59, awesome stuff. All right, we defeated Roughneck Martin, cheap shot. I wanna call it cheap, but okay. So there we go, we got that guy down. And I look like, what, I started inner tube, get lost, I didn't say that. Wow, rude. He's just like so self-conscious, he just assumes I say mean things. I'm not that mean. 
I think you look fine. Okay, uh, so what's going on over this way? Any Pokeballs I can snag? Really doesn't look like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into this island. We got ourselves in a coach to take on, and we're almost at land already. Hey, you, are you going to Cinnabar Island by any chance? I'm bored. Is it okay if I can't coach you a bit? Battle! Most Pokemon will be super serious. Cool stuff. Okay, so now with this, you're challenged by Coach Trainer Pam. We'll get a TM out of this as well. She has three Pokemon, starting with Machoke, which, you know, we can just use Thunder and see how that ends up happening. Not particularly strong or weak against it, so it should be fine. Thunder's our most damaging move. Ooh, come on, will it be a one-hit takedown? What level are her Pokemon? 44, so a couple levels above the average around here. 44 is two more than 42, of course. And Jinx, ooh, I'm gonna switch. I think I actually will use Fred this time. Try to use some fire moves. Cause she is definitely psychic guys, right? I can only help. We'll find out if I use fire against her and it's, it's effective. And we know. Come on now. Jinx is ready. Fight and let's use flamethrower. Oh, we to use it first too. Ooh, there we go. Super effective. See ya, Jinx. So, yep, she's a nice type. And with that, get 700 experience and one last Pokemon to battle is Kangaskhan. I wanna switch Pokemon again. And Kangaskhan I think is ground, right? Maybe normal ground? Something like that. Not too familiar. So we will go ahead and switch over and see if I can't use Surf. Because if I can, that'd be great. So, sitting out Kangaskhan. Oh, I love your little baby in the pouch. That is so adorable. Use Surf and see how effective this is. 45, a little bit of a higher level one. Ah, uh, not really that crazy. Dizzy Punch. What typing is Kangaskhan? I might look that up really fast. Uh, Kangaskhan is a normal type. So yeah, this wasn't particularly good or bad. I'll just use Surf again, see if we can't take it the second half of your health if I don't get hurt by confusion. Oh, we still used it! Good job, Tarka! Push through it, and we got the takedown. See, I guess, I would think this would be ground type to some extent, but I guess not. All right, well, there we go. You just don't run into Kangaskhan too often. We don't have one yet. We need to catch one. Seriously strong, so sick. $4,500 for winning, and we should be getting a TM as well. You're pretty good. I'm gonna give you a little present. TM35 Ice Punch, not bad. TM35 has the move Ice Punch. It's like super effective against Dragon type and Grass type Pokemon. Ooh, maybe good to use against, or with Lily, if we ever run into a Dragon type like Dratini. You wanna know if the fish are biting? Yeah, why not? <laughs> how, how are things going? I asked you a courteous question and you challenged me to a battle. It's Fisherman Ronald. And you sound Seedra, again, I really want this Pokemon. It's super cool. Come on, Eve, I know you can do it. So, we're in a fight, and I'm gonna do Zippy's out. That should take you out without an issue. Ooh, boom. Nice stuff. So now that we've done that, we only have one more Pokemon to tackle. That'll definitely be a water type, because he's a fisherman, just what he does. And I think this might be the last leader, gym, not gym leader, trainer battle, Gyarados, nice. Um, on this route, which will be pretty cool, then we can double back over to Cinnabar Island if we want to. Okay, he's looking good to go. Let us fight in Zippy Zap. Ooh, come on, Eve. It's so funny because like, Eve is like the size of one of his teeth. <laughs> He's so huge. But that doesn't matter. As long as you're strong, your size won't really apply in Pokemon world. Okay, so Fisherman Ronald's been taken down. Oh man. Another thousand dollars for one in that one. Okay, so I can't catch anything good. Not one good Pokemon to be had. I'm sure if you keep trying. Oh, there's one more Fisherman. And anything else beyond that? Maybe there's another swimmer bouncing around. I don't believe so. Yeah, we're already on that island. There's another magic carp. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and grab this Pokeball and battle this dude, we should be good. Hyper Potion, nice, good to have another one of those as well. And then there's, ooh, there's a whole patch of grass over there, that could be good. I got a big call, wanna go for it? I do. So, uh, so are we battling him for the hall Pokemon? That'd be pretty cool, actually. Fisherman Wade, sending out magic carp. So he actually has a full sack. I get it now, this is his big haul. 
So we're just gonna use Thunderbolt for now, because it's pretty accessible and easy enough. Got it. And most of this should be one-hit takedowns if it's all Magikarp. I mean, maybe I'll have a, like a like a level 99 or something ridiculous in there. How funny would that be? Not the most interesting battle, I gotta be honest, but we'll make the most of it and have a good time with it. <laughs> you really did get a big haul of Magikarp. Sort of feel bad that the Magikarp always get picked on. They're always, you know, being fished out of the ocean by these fishermen. They just wanna hang out, they just wanna have a good time. They just wanna evolve into a Gyarados. Then they won't mess with the fishermen. I mean, the fishermen won't mess with them. Try to catch a Gyarados, see what happens. Charlotte could level 57 off of that, not bad. Surprise, surprise is another Magikarp. This will be the third one out of presumably six. And I wanna be able to get the uh, Gyarados at some point. We already have a Magikarp or two already caught, so I just sort of need to level them up, evolve them, and use the Water Stone, I think. I don't think that Gyarados evolve, or Magikarp evolves into Gyarados naturally. You need the Water Stone, which we have at least one of. So that's pretty good. Okay, so sending out Magikarp one more time. That's fine with me. So it's a pretty simple battle. Not too much experience to be had either. Sort of a shame. But we'll, we're about to get back to Viridian City, right? I think that's what it is. And there we'll be able to heal up if we need to, right? Yeah, I suppose so. We'll have to go back home first. But I might save that for the next episode. Fisherman Wade is about to send out Magikarp. I will keep battling. And... Here it is. So this is the second to last one? Yep. Watch the last one be like super high level or be a Gyarados. There has to be a surprise at the end of this, right? I don't know, probably not. <laughs> so there it is, one last Pokemon. This is our first ever battle with somebody who has had six Pokemon. Isn't that weird? Magikarp, Never mind. But we'll be level 99. Uh, Nope, it'll be level 42. No surprises here. So I only have two more uses left of Thunderbolt. We really use that a lot. Okay, so there it is. You have been defeated, and all of your Magikarp as well. I mean, you still get to keep them, they're just fainted. Okay, and we beat Fisherman Wade. <laughs> Magikarp just don't make the grade, do they? I guess not. Well, we get three Pokeballs and a couple thousand extra dollars out of that one. I, see, I seem to only catch Magikarp. Hopefully you catch more stuff soon. I am curious to check out this patch of grass before we move back. But yeah, this looks like it could be pretty cool. Ooh, and then there it is, that's home sweet home. We'll check that out soon, but I really wanna see what Pokemon pop out here. Almost to the point where I wanna use a lore. We'll just go ahead and use normal lore for now. And see if any cool rare Pokemon pop up here. It's just such like a isolated patch of grass. Something cool has to live here, right? Oh, okay, there's a, there's a Pidgeotto. Is that it? There's a Rattata. Not anything too exciting yet. There's a Raticate. Uh, you, I forget your name. Bloom, Gloom. Not really what I wanted, but it's cool. A little bit uncommon. Is that really gonna be it? I mean, I'm sure if I waited for long enough, there might be something. Leave me alone, Raticate. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm really good at dodging Pokemon right now. Oh, Raticate disappeared, so that should mean, yep, another one, a giant Gloom. Come on, come on. Something good. Give me something good. Nothing? <laughs> Maybe I'll catch some Pokemon to earn some experience. Another Pidgeotto. Is that it? There has to be like a couple more Pokemon popping up soon. But apparently not. Oh, there's a tiny one. I'm about to go for this big gloom. I think I'm gonna go for him before he disappears. Okay, so let's try to catch this guy. If we catch him in the first hit, that'd be awesome. Now, a great throw. Hoping for an excellent, but great might be good. Come on. Yeah, okay, we're fine. There we go, you got a Gloom. Might be a good couple hundred experience, right? What level are you? 3,257, wow we. That's a 9.8 multiplier for successful catch, great throw, first throw, technique bonus, and size bonus. I was not expecting that much. So Kobe grew a, grew a level for that, level 54. Wow, that was crazy. Okay, I was not expecting that at all. What level were you? Hopefully like in the 40s, I'd have to imagine. So we got a small Pidgey. We could do the tiny Pidgey. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's go for the size ones because they just give a huge chunk of experience if we can catch them on the first throw, that is. It might not be easy here. Oh, come on, come on. Now, ah, uh, not really in the circle whatsoever, but it might still be a catch. Come on. Ah, come on, you're ruining it. All right, level 43 Pidgey. I'm gonna get you. 
That was an awful throw. Not where I was trying to go at all. Come on. No, you are tough. I only have 30 fall, 35 master balls left. Okay. Ooh. Jeez, why are you so tough? I don't understand. Now, what was that? <laughs> come on, now. Oh, come on. Ah, that was the worst. Just catch her, catch her. Or him, I'm not sure. Uh, her, actually, and you ran away. Come on, that was baloney. That was total baloney. Come on, let's see some other Pokemon. There's a giant Raticate. Oh, an Oddish, oh, how cute. We haven't seen an Oddish in the longest time. And then there's a tiny Pidgeotto again. Like, really? Why can't I see anything else besides these guys? Now, ooh, that was an excellent throw. I'd argue that one. Can we still catch him now? You bet we can, so that still might be a decent chunk of experience. Probably not 3,000, maybe like 1,000 or two. 800, never mind, oh well. It is crazy when we can get eight or nine times multipliers, like mind boggling. Okay, so am I going for the tiny Pidgeotto again? I'd rather not, they're a pain to catch. There's just nothing else interesting around here. That's sort of a shame. I was hoping for better. I'll wait for one more Pokemon to show. This Pidgeotto has been sitting here for a while. They're bound to fly off soon. And if so, then I will go back. Eh, that's a Rattata. Fine, we'll try the tiny Pidgeotto. Probably won't be much. And I'm gonna wait for it because eventually it starts staying still. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to catch or get the excellent. That was totally an excellent. I don't wanna hear it. Come on. Come on, why are you so tough to get? That was not the direction I threw. I actually could have been, if I timed that better, that could have been good. Come on. Why are Pidgeotto so tough to catch? I've caught several of them. That was not what I did. Okay, you're gonna attack at the center. No, you're not. What the heck is with the throwing? Now, that was actually not bad throw. We got a great. Come on. Jeez Louise, come on. I do not wanna use a berry on you. I really don't wanna even use as many Pokeballs as I have against you, it's a total waste. You know what, I'm done with you. I don't even wanna catch you. I don't even want to, not worth it. Yes. What a jerk. I don't know why they're so tough to catch when we've caught multiple of them in the past. Okay, nothing of interest, I'm so sorry, but we're gonna go ahead and do Eve. We'll have her use a secret technique to get us back to Cinnabar Island so that we can get the Alolan Grimer at the least. Eve is in good humor. It can't contain its laughter. Oh, how adorable. So let's check out the uh, secret techniques. We need uh, Sky Dash and we will make our way all the way back over here to Cinnabar Island. And that's what, that'll be the last thing we do in today's episode, is go and get ourselves an Alolan Grimer, something we actually got in Pokemon Ultra Sun when we were playing that last year. That was a lot of fun. Um, so where is that gonna be? Yeah, it's in here, this building. Perfect. I like how it starts you right in front of the uh, healing station. It knows exactly what you might be looking for. Uh, the Lord's Effects. No, I don't want another one. Forgot I even had that thing because it wasn't very useful. Hi, are you interested in dark type Pokemon? Do you have a Grimer? Yes, I have several Grimers, so let's go ahead and choose one. We have a level 40, level 45, so let's go ahead and trade off the level 40. Trade. <laughs> have you made up your mind? Okay, let's make a deal. Okay, so we haven't done this in a little while. The last couple Pokemon we've ran into, we haven't been able to get the Alolan versions of because we don't have the normal version of. I know I need a Raichu for an Alolan Raichu at some point as well. I do need to get that one Pikachu out of that daycare. They should be pretty high level at this point, I would hope. All right, Darko sent over Grimer. Take good care of Grimer. I will, Beardy Bill. <laughs> All right, very cool. Dark type Grimer are pretty cute, aren't they? I guess so. Do you have anything else to say? Oh, so we could go and trade again. I guess infinite times for that, very interesting. But yeah, that's gonna be it for now. We're gonna be going back to our hometown in the next episode. That'll be very cool. Maybe some things have changed. We'll catch up with our mother and maybe even take on the final gym leader. How exciting would that be? But for now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Quiz. So now you've watched at the end of the year, a Zebra Task viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.